I just made $26,000 in one trading hour and I'm gonna show you how you can too. But before I do, let me just make a quick withdrawal right here out of the Porsche. They always say us YouTubers don't make live withdrawals. Here's a live withdrawal for you right here. Let's get down to business. Every single trade I placed today followed the same simple steps using the best ICT strategy for 2024, the silver bullet. There are three specific times you can trade this strategy, 3 to 4 a.m., 10 to 11 a.m., and 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern. Today, I only traded 10 to 11, which means I made $26,000 per hour. Now, I've been trading for 15 years, even though some of the commenters tell me I don't even look 15 years old, but because I've traded so long, I do things a bit different. I simplify trading to make it easy enough that even a beginner can do it. Smash the hell out of that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram for free raffles, and let's make some money. All right, so here we are at my verified real trading account. You can see here I made $26,185 all in one trading hour. If I scroll down here, you can see I won five out of six trades for an 83% win rate on a live trading account. Below that, we have all of the trading results. You can see every single trade was opened on the 29th. Only one trade closed on the 30th, but that trade was placed during the one hour. And there was one trade here that I placed a little bit later so maybe you could say I traded for two hours but for the sake of the video $26,000 in one hour now let's quickly play out one of those trades right here you could see it pushed up and smashed my take profit right here banking me just over four thousand dollars but I have way more amazing trades to show you but the first thing we have to do is break down the strategy in full so you can do this too let's do that now okay to use the best ICT strategy for 2024 first First thing you want to do is come into freetradingview.com. For my time frame, I'm just using the five minute time frame, and then I've got a couple of indicators to install. First, I have the ICT Silver Bullet by Lux Algo. Just click on that right there. Second, I just have an EMA, the moving average exponential, just like that. So for the EMA, we just want to have that length 50. That's what those settings are. And for the ICT Silver Bullet, these are the exact settings I have. We want the super strong strict fair value gap. This way we're only getting the highest probability trades. These are the rules of the super strict. It's simple. Basically when the price enters that fair value gap, it's going in the same direction as the trend. The price retraces into the gap like you're seeing right here and the price doesn't close above the box right here. If it does, we don't take a trade, we move on. So what are the rules of this trading strategy? What are the reasons for taking a trade? Well, it really comes down to the fair value gap and obviously my e EMA as a confluence. So I will only place buy trades when the price here is above the blue line. That's our moving average. That's telling us we're in an uptrend. And with this best ICT strategy, I'm always following the trend. Next thing I'm looking at here is the fair value gap. You can see this is our fair value gap right here. Okay. You could see it would be something like this right here. You get a fair value gap just like this one right here when the price pushes up aggressively and that candle is unmitigated. So what I mean here is you can see here, this candle right here does does not come down and this candle right here does not come up to fill this area which means this area right here is completely unmitigated and the market is imbalanced which means the market is very likely to come back to this area right here and then we get a price reaction this happens all the time and ICT has made the fair value gap famous for good reason. So if we just scroll back, we can see here, look, the indicator actually maps the fair value gap for us. And here is a good trading opportunity. You could see here the price is above the 50 period moving average. We have the price come into our fair value gap right here, and it doesn't close outside. If it closes outside here, then it's no good. We don't place the trade, but you could easily be placing a long position in here, targeting the previous price level right here. You could have your stop loss below this wick, or you could just have it below the moving average and pick up an easy, easy win. If I scroll back even more, we have another fair value gap right here. And of course, I haven't mentioned yet, but all of these trades are taking are happening within this one hour period, right? From 10 to 11 a.m. or from 
2 to 3 p.m. Although I don't trade the 2 to 3 p.m., I only trade 10 to 11, and sometimes I'll trade 3 to 4 a.m. But for today, where I made $26,000 in a single hour, I only traded the 10 to 11. Here is another example here. You can see we're in an uptrend. Price is above our 50 period moving average. The price is pushing up. It creates the fair value gap. You can see right here, this is the fair value gap right there. Price is not mitigating this area. So we want to see the price come into this area and respect it. You can see here, this candle right here does not close below. If it closes right here, we don't take the trade. But since it doesn't, you could be entering the trade at that position right there, very simply targeting the past level, having your stop loss below this wick right here for a solid one to two risk reward ratio targeting the past price level as an easy win or you could even use the built-in support and resistance provided by the ICT indicator and target this area right here which is this blue line right there. There is one more reason I don't get knocked out on those tight trades, and that's because I trade with the Hanko Trade Broker. This is the best broker in the business. Registration is absolutely free. Just click the link below the article right now. It's a great place to start trading. You can trade with MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5, and soon on their own platform too. Now let's wrap up this video. Obviously, I back tested the strategy as well. I back test every single strategy I showed you, and I back tested this one 100 times. I won 83 times for an 83% win rate. At one point in time, I had 16 wins in a row and worst case scenario, I only had two losses in a row. So the strategy works really well. But as you know, when you go live, these things change dramatically. So I'm going to show you a bunch of live trades in a row. So you know exactly how to use this strategy. Don't miss a single trade so you can be profitable in 2024 with the best ICT strategy, the silver bullet. First thing we're doing, we're making sure that we're trading in that 3 to 4 a.m. or the 10 to 11 a.m. Here you can see this trade was a 3 to 4 a.m. Price has been trending down for a while and it's below my 50 period moving average. And so the next thing I'm doing here is I'm looking for that fair value gap. You can see the price pushes down pretty aggressively right here, creates a fair value gap at this level right here, and then price pushes into it. That price doesn't come up here and close above, so it's a value valid fair value gap. And at that point, I decide to launch the trade. You could see it goes in my direction and does come back a little bit before eventually smashing the take profit on both open positions and making me over 10 thousand dollars. I felt really good about this downtrend right here. So I opened two positions. As for the type of order, I did a limit order. So as soon as the price came back up and tapped the line right here, it started the trade automatically, went ahead, smashed my take profit. You can see my stop loss is pretty obvious right here. I just put it above this recent high. And for my take profit, you can see I was targeting this past price level right here for a nice one to four risk reward ratio. Now here's a very, very similar trade. I took it around the same time, three to 4 a.m. New York. Earlier, I said something about trading only 10 to 11 today, but now that I'm going through these examples, I do remember I had some three to 4 a.m. trades as well. You can see here, we're clearly in a downtrend right here. I didn't even set my moving average on this one. The price is pushing down. I'm looking for sell opportunities. I'm looking for a big push down. You could see we get a big push down right here. And this is unmitigated, right? That creates our fair value gap. At that point, I set my limit order right here. So as soon as price taps into the FVG, my trade is entered. Let's go ahead and play that trade out. You can see here it went up. It mitigated the red rest of the fair value gap right here. I still feel really safe when that happens. And then the rest of the trade continue to play out and then smash my take profit for another one to four risk reward ratio. Now you can see here, I had my stop loss at this level right here. I could have pulled it a little bit up. I probably should have just to protect in case the price came to this wick again, but it didn't. And I went for a huge one to four risk reward ratio. You know, I'm doing larger risk reward ratios when I'm really believing in the trend. You can see here the price is pushing down, pushing down, pushing down. I really believe in that trend, but you can play this a lot safer if you want. You 
you can see here we have a pretty obvious support level right there so if you wanted to play this safe you easily could have targeted this still 1.26 percent risk reward ratio or with a little bit tighter stop loss a 1.8 percent risk reward ratio which is still awesome but you already know i didn't win every single trade i never win every single trade no one wins a hundred percent of their trades using any single strategy and here was that loss okay you could see here we are in a solid downtrend we are in a solid downtrend it's the same day it's the same time and i'm looking for the same sort of patterns you could see here we get a big push down right here we create that unmitigated fair value gap right there price taps in right here that's where i had my limit order price pushed down a little bit here but then shot up and immediately knocked me out of this trade luckily on this trade i only opened one position so the loss wasn't that bad just two thousand dollars as you can see here one of the problems with this trade is it's a scalp right if i was playing this trade a bit safer i could have had a stop loss above here i still would have been knocked out so i guess it's okay that what happened happened but you can see as we move on here the price does continue to push down significantly so if I did put a wider stop, something like this, and did target something like this, uh, this would have been an easy win. And generally, this is more what I'm doing. You can see here, this is about 17 pips. If we go into my, my FX book, I'm hitting 17, 20, 40, 33. So if you want to play it a bit safer, maybe don't go for 10 pips, go for 20, 30, 40 pips. So the trade has a little bit more breathing room and you don't get knocked out on that quick scalp. So obviously, this was a fantastic fantastic day. I banked $26,185. Originally, I told you that I only traded the one hour, but I in fact traded two hours. So I really made $13,000 per hour. I really don't think that matters. But if you want to give me a hard time about it, leave a comment below the video right now, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. And as always, consider joining my VIP trading room. It's the best trading room in the world. Can't wait to see you there. Watch this video next or watch this video next. See you next week and much love.